Legend of Total War here with part 44 of my Rome 2 Legendary This is Total War as Carthage campaign. Now, this is the first episode in which patch 7 has been introduced, so there's obviously quite a bit of a delay between me playing it and you guys seeing it. I haven't played uh, this campaign in about a week, so I can't remember exactly what I did last time, but it looks like I did something in Egypt. Looks like I took out uh, Diospolis and Mios Hormos. Um... Notable changes that have been made in patch 7 is that they have removed daisy chaining capabilities. So, I mean, it was an exploit, and I suppose it is a good thing that it's gone, but I enjoyed it. So, it will make my campaigns a little bit harder from now on. But that's okay. Now, to see what I need to do. Um, these guys, yeah, they just took that. Got a fleet here, but the garrison should be able to hold out here. I've also can issue an edict, which I think I will do in Egypt. And okay, we've got a Seleucid veteran on his way here. I should probably get rid of him. So, 70% chance to hire assassin to wound him. Stop him from causing me shit. Good. As long as he's out of there, that's the main thing. I thought I said that. Oh, what the fuck? Things have really fucking changed. Uh oh. So now I can't actually have as many armies as of what I've got. Nor agents. I've got too many agents and too many edicts. Oh fuck. Things have bloody changed. Okay, the thresholds come later. Alright, so what I know I need to do is remove some of my armies. Because otherwise it, I think the, the uh, computer will just decide for me which ones get removed. I don't know, I, I feel like that's a, that's fucked up. Like, I should actually be on 9. Or even... I don't know. I feel like it should be ahead of that. Eh, I don't know. Whatever the case is... Oh, uh, that's not my army. They can't do anything here. This guy here, I think he needs to go. Hang on. He's staying here. Now we've got these guys here. What if I was to move here and fortify? No, hang on, I can't move there. I have to go at least there. And fortify, I think I would do a lot better if they decided to attack. So I'll give that a shot. Because I definitely want to take Neapolis. This guy has to go. Because the last thing I want is for the computer to decide to get rid of armies of mine which actually have military units, not just sitting there sort of pointlessly. Ah, shit. Well, this fucks everything up. It would have been okay if I had started on patch 7, but now that it's come here, it's sort of like... Nope, we're going to fuck you around a little bit more. Well, alright. Shit. Uh, I don't want those guys disbanded. Alright, there's nothing here really that can... St oh, shit. How am I supposed to get these guys over there? They're already on force march and I can't daisy chain anymore. For battle. And if I leave here, then these guys will come and attack. Everything's sort of fucked up now. At your command. So I need to remove one extra army. But which one? I've only got... S I've got seven, but they've all got military units. I can't merge some of them. 
I mean, if I had to choose which army goes, it'd probably be this one. Actually, no, it'd be, uh, be that one. Oh, I don't know. I need to merge these two armies. Or else I may end up losing them. But it may also mean that the Keltiki here are going to take Kartuba. Oh, well. It's a risk I have to take, I suppose. I'll get Ballista, so it's not really going to make not going to be too bad. So anyway, let's pick them up. And I'll just guess I'll have to just retake Kartuba. And this guy, off he goes. Okay, I need to get rid of one of these units. Um, I don't think I need quite as many cavalry as I've got. So I'll get rid of one of them. And then that'll do. Essentially, I'd like to have four cavalry, four Carthaginian cavalry, uh, two pike, uh, two uh, uh, ballista, and the rest pikemen. Until I've got Sacred Band or whatever's available to me. Okay, well, at least that fixes that problem. I doubt they'll uh, disband the, the spies and agents and all that kind of stuff because you could, you could have more than your limit anyway beforehand. Um, Tech-wise, what am I getting? Alright, going for growth because I got that already, so that's helpful. Alright, that should sort me out. Now, if I sell you out here... No. I have to wait for them to attack me. Which is fine. So I've still got a bit of money left over. What are you doing? That is fine. Yeah, this region's under control now. And it's being taxed, which is good. It's got the edict. Uh, let's, let's see. I think I'm going to go with a library so I can finish off my research. Because this area is pretty safe, I think. Orgula here. How much that cost? Not much. But Orgula doesn't really... Oh, that's right. I left it how it was because it gave extra commerce. Alright, I'll leave that... Yeah. Oh, whatever. Best I just get that over with. Cost me... It'll produce for me less money, but... Whatever. At least it'll be my culture. Got plenty of food, but... Need to focus on military, I think. No. Let's see, what have I got here? I've got that. What's this? Carthaginian cavalry. Noble cavalry. Oh, I must have fucked up with that. I don't want noble cavalry. Ah, oh, that's really set me back a little bit. That's alright. There's no rush, I think, for these guys to get there. I won't bother paying for their upgrades, because they could be temporary units. Once I get that to level 4... Oh, I've got to convert it first. Um, and research the proper thing. Yeah, so I'm probably going to lose Kartuba. Which is fine, because then I'll... Oh, shit. Alright, well, I don't want to lose the money. So we'll just wait. Let them take it, and then I'll come straight back. Because I'll have artillery this time. It'll be a lot easier. Uh, these guys here, if they make an attack, they'll get slaughtered. I think. I've still got 7,000 to spend. And I'm not sure what on. I don't really want that. I'd rather have that. And I've still, of course, got plenty of food. And every region is being taxed. Now, uh, Libya... I think I'll go with that there. In Egypt. Okay, Egypt can use some uh, upgrading. For example, here. And, oh, I was going to do that as well. No, th that'd be better. Because that provides food. And no penalties, so that's really good. Uh, also need to make sure I'm at war with everyone. 
Yep. If I got any more money, barely. I still maintained 52% of my uh, influence, which is good. So if the civil war happens, it shouldn't happen. Shouldn't take Carthage, and also do that one as as well. All right. What about my agents? Gonna make sure they're all doing something. He doesn't need to be here anymore doing that. Time to send him east. Because Car Africa is under control. Same with you. You need to move east. This guy. Oh, he's not going to be needed here much longer. Let's move east. Actually, he should really be moving west. Doesn't matter. Keep that guy there. Where are my spies? Over here. My lord. Thought I had three. Maybe I've got one here. Says I've got three. Oh, one must be wounded. That's okay. Um. Okay. All right. Hang on. What the fuck? Um. Well, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, moving on to the next turn. Yeah. So, after each every, each time a patch comes in, you've always got to do a little bit of cleaning up. I suppose after the mess that that happens from it. But from here on in, it should be back to how it was. Alright, so these guys are making their attack. It's their navies. They're mostly um, melee troops. But they're not going to stand much of a chance because th only a few of them will uh, be allowed inside the city uh, to dock. The rest will have to dock outside and they'll have to uh, burn down the gates and then face my boiling oil because they're not going to have any ladders. Okay. Now, I haven't played too much of Patch 7 yet, but from what I have played, I can confirm that it is significantly harder than uh, Patch 6. So, it kind of devalues everything that I've done up until now, which means I'm probably going to have to do this challenge again, and I was thinking to do it with Bactria and with a mod that makes it harder. Alright, so let him come. Enemy reinforcements approaching. And then, alright, so they're coming from here. That's fine. Not the best garrison that I could have here. But it'll, it'll do. Looks like these guys are going to go over the other side. Which means I can't just leave one line of defense. In fact, these guys look like they might be going to the other side as well. It's not docking over here. Looks like they want to go this way. Well, that's fine if that's what they want to do. There's only one gate to defend here, so that's easier for me. So bring it on, bitches. Actually, what are they doing? Yeah, they're docking over there. Now, another thing that I have noticed is that boiling oil has been nerfed. Now, it, um, if the gate is neutralized, the boiling oil stops coming. That's what I've noticed. Before you have to actually take the uh, tower for yourself to stop it. Which means you've really got to try and push them outside of the gate. And keep them just out there. If you want to keep the boiling oil on them. Which is what I want to do.
they're all disembarking. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. They've uh, brought some guys in. That's not good at all. Alright, so I'm going to need these guys here to hold the line. Oh, they're not going to do a very good job of it. While I deal with these guys over here. Seems like I'm up against a lot. Oh, I didn't realize they'd dock so many of them over here. Well, that's going to suck for me. I was hoping to just deal with them all boiling oil style. These guys are not going to hold on long. Well, what I might be able to do is do the whole glitchy, I'll open the gate whilst they shoot sort of thing, just to keep them busy until these guys have dealt with them. Unfortunately, they're getting a little bit tired because I'm running them around so much. But they're kind of stuck, so maybe I'll get a chance to rest. I've also noticed that with this patch, it tends to get a lot more glitchy in regard to... Uh, Lag. Yeah, see, it's already freaking glitchy. Nothing's really going on. So, as far as performance goes, this patch is not better. Alright, let's open the gate, stop them from coming. Uh, okay, well. Plebs, they made them shatter, so that's fine, but get back inside, you fucks. Seriously stupid. Fucking idiots. Come on. Okay, put these guys here and then just give them a rest. Looks like I need to keep these gates open. Yeah, as long as they're open, these guys will get shot down pretty quickly, I reckon. Kinda of dodgy doing this, but I'll do whatever it takes to win. As did any commander or any commander worth their salt of the time. What's going on here? Oh, they're joining in as well. So I just keep the gate open and they'll eventually shoot them all down. Give these guys a chance to rest before they take on the uh, the guys over there. Luckily, they're not even moving yet. Keep the gate open. That's what I like to see. Sure as shit, don't want to lose Alexandria. Oh, shit, 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 come inside. Yep. Now, here's the thing. It's not really an exploit because the, uh, the AI have done this to me before and that's how I figured it out. They kept the gate open so I couldn't bloody destroy it. It was very annoying. 
So they get a taste of their own medicine now. Hey, what, 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 what's getting shot at? What are they getting shot by? Oh, shit, over here. Fucking didn't even see that. Uh oh, shit. Come back inside, pricks. Oh, good thing they already killed the, the guys. Jeez, I was getting shot and I didn't even know it. This guy's bound to be getting shot by my towers as well. It's okay if they take one victory point, but if they take two, then I'm fucked. Come on, get inside already. What's this? Light archers. Well, they won't last long against my towers, that's for sure. Have to do a bit of multitasking in this one. Keep control of these gates, keep them open, and at the same time, deal with, with those guys over there. So they still haven't quite recovered yet either. Yeah, the tower... These guys are getting shot to shit, so they won't last that much longer. So far, I haven't taken a single casualty in this battle. Gotta do what I gotta do. Yep, still getting shot. Have you guys caught the guy or what yet? Oh, gate's closing, you better fucking hurry. Oh, good timing. Killing them as well. Very good. Of course, the more of these guys that have been killed, then the less torches they'll throw, the, uh, the slower they would take them to destroy the gates anyway. been annihilated. That's good. It made it a lot more difficult that I went to war with the uh, the Seleucids in the, over the past couple of turns because now they're going to hassle me. We have captured a tower. And now that I have less capabilities for armies, that is also going to make things harder. I'm sure once I get the next level of Imperium, it'll go back to nine. But that'll probably bring on the uh, Civil War as well. Right, go deal with these guys. So far, I haven't lost anyone, so that's good. Actually, oh shit! Fuck, they're sending more. It's okay if they get inside now. I think I reckon I can deal with them, but. You know, let's not leave things to chance. Hillmen aren't very tough, though. So I don't really think I have that much to worry about. Still need to buy more time for these guys to rest. This guy doesn't matter. He doesn't need rest. Mobs suck anyway. Oh, shit. I fucked that one up. Obey me, you fucks. Come on. Fucking retards. Come on, inside. Up oh, there they go. They're shattered. Useless pricks. Oh, well, they distracted enough of the men to make, make it worth doing that. But I haven't exactly mastered doing that glitchy shit, which I doubt they're going to take out in any patch. And look at that, they're busy trying to chase me down. Not like it fucking matters. My guys here are 
pretty much fresh now, so that's good. Alright, now even if they do manage to get inside, I reckon the boiling oil will sort them out, even just on the couple, uh, first couple of shots. So let them come burn it down. They're idiots, why are they bothering running down bloody mob? Think I care about them? No. They're not going to make it. Alright. Now we're going over here. Okay, they didn't even get off the boats. You know, I thought they would have fixed that in the patch. Seems like Creative Assembly still have more work to do, which is fine. They're getting there. They're getting there. The game is certainly harder, I reckon. Oh, just a 50% there. As if you guys are going to live to see it burned. No, I don't think I need to worry about any of this now. Could probably send these guys back over this way. In fact, if I got these guys up on the walls, they could shoot down at them. Too bad I don't have a tower here. Yeah, that might be an idea. Let's send the non-general over there. Well, they've got to 60%. Up oh, they're shattered. Looks like they're going to fuck around for a bit. These guys should be perfectly fine now in regard to exhaustion. And we've got the hillmen here. They're not off the boats, but I can attack them now, so that's good. I wonder why these guys haven't been triggered. Same with them. I can't just have them sit sit around. That wouldn't be good. So I'll lure them over here again. Even if it means sacrificing a unit of plebs. A mob, I mean. Okay, that's bringing them over here. That's what I wanted. And let's get back inside. Okay, over here, let's get up on the walls. Don't fire at will just yet. I've got limited ammo. I need to utilize it properly. And they're gone. Only one left to this army section here. I need to lure them over. You know, my mob might actually be able to beat them. I'm not sure. Okay. Gain their attention. Let's head back. And get back inside. And they'll get shot, and then that's the end of them. Alright, seem to be triggering them a little bit. Defensive position. Oh, I doubt that's a good angle to be shooting them from, though, with that rock in the way. Oh shit, looks like I'm about to be shot. Hang on, actually, this is a good opportunity to attack while they're distracted. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're wasting majority of their ammo on this shit. Actually, what I really should be doing is keeping them as close to the front section of the wall as possible. I reckon all my kills are, or deaths are happening right at the front. Uh, at the back, I mean. Now, while they're distracted, my guys will come in and slaughter them. Well, that's what the plan is. Over here, they're all done. They can move over this way as well. Alright, let's kick their ass. Jeez, it's much more laggy than it used to be. Performance has really gone down. I haven't changed any of the settings either. The battle is turning in our favor. Well, that's good. This should be over soon. Yeah, let's wipe them out a little bit more. So that they don't come back. <laughs> now they get off the boats. Those ones got shot by this tower, I reckon. So that's good to see. Alright, you guys can quit shooting. You guys did okay. Better than I thought you would. These guys should get shot. If my towers are bloody work. There we go, those are working. What are they going to go through the gate if I'll get put boiling oil on them? Let's see how powerful the, the boiling oil is now. Ah, oh, it's barely doing anything. Before, that would have been a slaughter. Killed a couple of them. Better than nothing, I suppose. The towers are doing more damage. Just kill enough for them to be uh, destroyed after the battle. So maybe down to five or six. Flaming arrow right in his back. He's still walking. Alright, that'll do. Good. They're not sunk, though. But I doubt they'll cause me any more problems for a little while. And I get to hold on to Alexandria. Another turn. Alright, Epirus didn't bother to try and attack me. That's good. But now that I think about it, what am I going to do against these guys with that army? Seriously. If I can't hire new generals, what am I going to do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Navies, of course. Yeah, but that doesn't really improve my chances all that much. Oh, fuck off. Well, this would be easier if my guys were here, but since they're coming by sea, I don't think... Because they have to burn down the gates, that's what they have to do. I don't think they're going to have an easy time against me. I don't have any naval units, though. I've got too many mob. Um, oh, well, got to do this. Okay, so they're probably going to uh, disembark a few men there. So I'll leave them to deal with them first. And then the rest will either take this side or this side. And the mob, they'll be 
suitable to delay them in the meantime. Actually, it's probably going to come over here, but we'll see. No, they want to take the long way, I suppose. Oh, I'd love some artillery right now just to fucking slaughter them. Now, I don't necessarily have to win this. It's not all over if I lose, but I reckon I can win it. It's definitely going to require some cheap tactics. And I mean win it without using the timeout. Because I don't want to do that anymore, even with patch 7. Okay, so they'll probably send three down this way. And I've kept them back here just in case they're missile units. Okay, one is disembarking here. That doesn't really concern me, though. One of them won't get through. And Bundisium, I think the settlement type has changed. Didn't used to look like this, if I recall. Or maybe it did. I don't think so. Right, so what's coming? We've got Illyrian Spearmen, Spearmen, and Cavalry. Well, Spearmen, basically. Well, that's fine. I can deal with that. No missile units. So, let's bring my guys up, my hoplites, to defend themselves. And get into uh, Phalanx Formation. Which I don't really like Phalanx Formation with hoplites. But we'll see how they do. Taxes! Come on, hurry up. Orders, my lord. Formation. Awaiting orders. Move. formation. Because these Illyrian spearmen, they're not good. Our general is under attack. Yeah, he'll be fine. Oh yeah, that's it. Create a nice big fat fucking gap for me. Fantastic. What's this? This is the cavalry. Close the gap here. So far, so good, I think. They haven't really done much to me. And I've kicked their ass a little bit. Now, what happened to the unit that was there? He looks like he's coming around this way to get killed. No problem. Even if he manages to burn down the gate, which I doubt he'll last that long, he'll get slaughtered. Uh, coming through the boiling oil. Because he's by himself. So I don't even need to worry about him at all. At least that's what I think. Okay, kicking their ass. Good, so if we break them, we'll head over here, smash them. And then this one. That'll be three units down. Well, technically four, because they're not going to survive. Sixteen to go. It's quite possible that some of these units might get stuck. Okay, they're broken. They're not shattered, but that's okay. I forgot about them for now. They'll get shot by the towers. We just break these guys. Because I've lost a lot of men already. Wavering, good. Because I don't have great units here with Libyan hoplites. I mean, even the Carthaginian hoplites aren't that fantastic. Okay, they're dead. Like the hoplite formation with the uh, the hop or well, phalanx formation with the hoplites, it really isn't that good, in my opinion. I mean, they took took some casualties. 
If they were pikemen, they would have just slaughtered them. Good, all shattered. Alright, let's just retake the uh, victory point. And then head over here, because that's where they're coming. Shit, I should have moved these guys here. I think I'm going to need to do the whole uh, open Our the gate thing. The victory point. Because the towers are still quite powerful by the looks of it. And I know that the boiling oil won't last very long. Okay, now how is this going over here? They've started. They've already lost half their battalion. More than that. With each one of them that gets killed, they're slower at um, burning down the gate. Okay, looks like their general's going to be one of the first to die, which is fantastic. Well, good for me, I mean. Yep, like I predicted. I think they've gotten a bit stupider in regard to this shit. They're having a bit of a twirl. That's fine. We'll deal with them or not later. Okay, open the gates. Even though there's only a few of them, let's not give them any sort of advantage. No, 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 you have to get back inside, you fucks. Well, that was bad. Don't you hate it when they just don't listen to you? Okay, now they're getting back inside, that's okay. Oh, the boiling oil might get them if they get too much closer. The enemy general is well, that's there. good. Let's send them guys over here. What's this? Slave slingers. All we need to do is keep the door open. We don't need the guys to actually come outside. These slave slingers won't last very long. Okay, so they're really bringing it over here now. Come on, open those fucking gates. This, of course, won't work very well if they had brought ladders, so they really shouldn't have attacked by sea. The problem with hoplites is that they're going to take a little bit longer to uh, to kill with arrows. So the slingers were already dead. But they'll get killed eventually. Oh shit 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 shit! Fuck! It's too slow. All right, I think I've just sacrificed these guys. Come on, just listen to me, you pricks! Come on! You fucking retards! I mean, they've done more use to me uh, just in that than they would have fighting. Still. Shit. I may lose this battle. If I don't be careful. Really gotta be careful with how I do this. See, they're starting to burn it down. Come on! Fucking pleb piece of shit. Oh, their fucking slingers are there shooting me too. That's gonna make it even harder. And the towers aren't as powerful as they used to be. Things in my way.
Don't let the gate close. Come on. How are they going? 44%. Not really killing too many of them either. Still, they're the worst units that I would fight, so I really need to get rid of them. No, not another fucking lot of morons. Come on. Ah, oh, jeez. They do not listen at all. And they're, they're probably gone. Alright, fuck that. This isn't going to be good if I let them all get killed. Oh, yes. Come on. Use the boiling oil on them. Alright, it's time to get into position. I'm not going to waste any more of my mob because that'll reduce the morale of the rest of my men here and I need them to have good morale, especially for what's coming. I don't think I'm going to win this battle now. Oh, but then again, they're not shooting very well. Alright, everyone needs to get to proper position. Okay, I need to keep them outside of that line there, so the boiling oil keeps fighting, uh, keeps being poured on them. If I do that, then, I don't know, I might kill a lot of them. I doubt I'm going to kill all of them. But I'll be back next turn with an army to retake it, if, if that is the case. Shouldn't have taken that army outside of the city. Should have brought them back here to just wait for proper reinforcements. And don't forget these guys have lost their general. And I haven't lost mine, I've just lost a lot of pleb. Mobs. Okay, 77% now. Yeah, this would have gone on for ages if I had kept doing that. I mean, these are probably their best units that they've got, the Illyrian Hoplite, so getting rid of them is important. Oh, what happened over here? Never bothered to check. Yeah, so they all got killed and they got to 68%, just like I predicted. Let's get into Hoplite Wall. Oh, so it's not even called Phalanx Formation anymore. That's good. What does it do? Let's get into formations. Get really tight. And then once that's blown up, and not before it, we just have to cross that line and make sure they do not cross it. Because if they do, they start to neutralize the... Uh, the victory point, and then the boiling oil stops coming. Our gates are utterly destroyed. All right, let's march forward a little bit. Oh shit! Here come their slingers. The slingers are doing their job. All right, now we stop. At the gate there. Ah, oh, they're fucking slingers. They're not going to be able to do much once the, once their guys engage. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Alright guys, let's get this started. Okay, boiling oil is still pretty powerful. It's not as powerful as it used to be, but as long as they don't start neutralizing, it should be okay. Keep them exactly there. Ah, oh, shit, I think the boiling oil is getting a bit of meat. Alright, let them 
Let them push us back a little bit. Yeah, I'm fucked. There is no way I'm gonna win this. It's too close. I'm getting killed by the boiling oil just as much. Alright, I need my plebs to get out of here. My mob. Fucking glitchy patch 7. I don't like it very much yet. Yeah, I fucked that up. Oh well, it all takes practice. And I'll be back with a proper army soon, I guess. Should have left my guy in the city. Oh, hang on, no. Not done yet. Almost, though. The men are wavering. I destroyed quite a significant amount of their army, so I should be able to just come back here next turn and kill them. Hopefully that'll happen. And the reason why I'm getting these guys out of here is so that the towers get a chance to shoot them while they're trying to get the victory points. Alright, my Carthaginian hoplites. Let's detach and get the fuck out of there. Just do not flee on me just yet. Alright, stay there. See what happens. It looks like I've defeated the majority of their hoplites. Alright, so what are they doing here? They're fucking around a bit. They're bringing in their javelin men and shit. Well, that's good because they'll get eaten up by my boiling oil, but it's not going to last that much longer. So they need to hurry up and bloody get inside. Before they neutralize it. Oh, it looks like they're about to neutralize it. Still, they're fucking around. Maybe victory's not quite off the table just yet. If I can retake the, uh, the, the boiling oil, which I doubt it. I've only got 61 uh, Carthaginian hoplites left. Their morale's not very good either. Okay, and here comes some more slaves. Well, slave slingers, they don't count for much. Come on. Let's retake the fucking towers. Okay, they're shattered. That's good. Back over here. Let's not get shot. Ah. Didn't quite get a chance. They're going to neutralize me, I think. That's fine. We'll kill them as well we can, because they're only slingers. Maybe a slight bonus in combat might help. Oh, okay, I can page up and down to select between individual men. Ah. Well, that's useful. Get a better view of it. Retake this fucking thing. Don't let them shoot at us, because that's the worst thing. So we've got to get at an angle. If I retake the fucking tower, they're not going to win. Simple as that. Yeah, but they keep bloody getting here in time. Oh, come on, just a little bit longer. Ah, oh, they fucking stopped me. The pricks. That's it. Get out of my fucking city, pricks. Well, 
We have captured the gate. Fantastic. Let's move back out. Detach. Let them come inside, and they'll get butchered by boiling oil. These slave slingers aren't going to last too long. I'm sure of it. Well, oh, victory is not off the table yet. Okay, that's good. With them gone, we're retaking the tower back for myself. Well, I was supposed to be. These guys have come inside. It's all right. They won't last very long. Jeez, my Carthaginian hoplites are really good. Doing a lot better than the Libyan ones, of course. Oh, I won! Holy fuck! Didn't expect that. Costly my ass. That was great. And they're gone entirely. Fantastic. Yeah, don't come back, you pricks. Huh, I really thought I was going to lose that for a while. Oh, come on. Well, I need to take a break. This video is already getting too long, so I'll start another video in just a minute. Anyway, like and subscribe, part something. I think it's 45 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook and check out my new channel. Uh, the link is in the, in the description. I'll see you next time. <laughs>